Hey everybody, this is Patrick at Geocron saying hello and specifically to my Ham Radio Bundle subscribers. I just got back from London where we donated an atlas to the National Radio Center in the UK at Bletchley Park where they did the code breaking in World War II as you saw in the imitation game. Great movie and great people up there too. So anytime we have like an installation that you have thousands of people seeing it every year, Man, am I happy to get a Geochron in front of everybody, especially the youth, so they can understand, I don't know, the seasons, and then also DX and propagation and ionosphere and all that stuff. Super cool hobby, and, um, and that we were delighted. They treated us great. Coming up next is the long-form version of that installation where they say thanks, and I say no, thank you. Hey everybody, I'm here at the National Radio Center in Bletchley Park, where we've just donated a Geochron Atlas, and we're going to walk in the building, and we're going to talk to Martin, who is the general manager here at uh, this this adjacent to the museum where the code breakers were uh, here in the UK during World War II. Let's take a look and go inside. So we're, this is the museum, and we're going back to the National Radio Center for the UK. And they get lots of visitors here because people come in for um, to see where the Codebreaker Museum is, where Alan Turing, and here's Martin. So we're going to chat it up with Martin. Okay, so welcome to the GB3RS. It's the National Radio Center, located at Bletchley Park, and it's run by the Radio Society of Great Britain. And we've got a, a number of different amateur radio station set up here so we can demonstrate different aspects of amateur radio. Yeah. We welcome typically between 100 to 500 visitors into this radio room every day yeah. and it's a great opportunity to demonstrate amateur radio. Many people it's their first experience. So we're able to demonstrate traditional uh, what I would con call conventional HF or shortwave radio, 20 meter band, uh, operation around Europe easily and the further across the Middle East to America and on good days down to uh, uh, down into uh, Australia and New Zealand. Yeah. Um, we've got a uh, slightly uh, older model here. This is SDR radio by the way, Flex radio. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, from, the, uh, from the US. A uh, slightly older um, Yesu radio here which we tend to operate on 80 and 40 meters uh, both uh, SSB and CW. That gives us UK and that's nice because when we get visitors in here uh, with the new licensing regulations it means we can actually get non-licensed people on the radio mm -hmm. and that means we can sit them down we have uh, QSOs and we pr produce the sample QSO script here so uh, people, it's a great way of introducing people to amateur radio. Yes. And then we've got some of the newer radios up here where we're able to demonstrate D-Star uh, DMR, uh, polar orbiting satellite communication, and uh, over on the far side of the room, we've got the uh, Oscar 100 satellite, which is a geostationary satellite, uh, which enables us uh, to uh, talk about space communication. All right, and this is also software defined. It is. Yes. 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 Yeah. We love it. Yeah. And uh, a nice couple of nice older radios here. These were the radios that belonged to King Hussein of Jordan in his London residence. And Queen Noor very kindly uh, donated them to us. Uh, and you have this key, right? And we have its Morse key, its gold-plated Morse key. So just because this is cool, like, let's follow you into the office and show me where that key is at, because okay. I know it's hidden from the public. Uh -huh. Check that out. What was it? Come see. This is the back room. So this is our office workroom, as you can see, computers and various things here. Uh, but in here in the display cabinet, uh, we've got a couple of Morse keys. This is the Morse key that belonged to King Hussein of Jordan. Gold plated. <laughs> it's gold plated? Gold plated. It must be very heavy. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Good. All right. Now, I didn't mean to come into your office and spend much time here. We'll head back out to the... Uh, well, it's a typical working office, you know, with the... <laughs> So, go ahead. Brilliant. Patrick, thank you so much. Yes. Donation of the uh, Geochrome uh, display. Yeah. And we're looking forward to having that uh, 
it's in here at the moment, and then we're looking to uh, develop that and having a huge screen outside. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that's really important to the RSGB is to promote uh, career opportunities uh, for developing or for helping people get into RF communication, yeah. whether that's with government agencies or mobile phone companies or space. Yes. So we're looking at really developing that and, and pushing that and yeah. getting sponsorship for that. I'm just delighted. Anytime there's a public display of Geocron, I want to donate one because people need to see it to see all the information, data-rich display that's all over the whole thing. Like here you see um, the purple is where the moon is shining right now. Here's the insulation line, the gray line of the sun. Uh, I've got weather. I've got uh, DX that's showing and uh, aviation that's going on. I think it's a great addition to this really awesome ham shack here at the National Radio Center. Well, we're really appreciative. Thank you so much you for bet. the donation. Thank All you, right. Patrick. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.